YouTube, what's going on? John here from Bart's Bassin. Got a review for you. And these are on a couple rods I picked up. The new Enigma rods. I got two different kinds. I got the Titanium Phenom and I got the Aaron's Edge. Uh, so I'm going to start with the Phenom. I got it out here so I'm going to knock it out. Um, first thing. First thing that caught my... The reason I bought this rod. I didn't, I've never even... When I, when I purchased it, I didn't even know what they were. But I was like, this rod is wicked looking. And that's the color. And that's the color down the entire blank. And uh, I would show you, but I got the window here. And it's a 7.6 uh, heavy rod, so I don't have much room. But yeah, that color is ridiculous. It's um, it's a chartreuse, almost, almost lime green color rod. Um, like I said, I picked up the 7.6 heavy for uh, flipping. And what do you got here? So you got... You got the EVA foam grips. You got, it's an American tackle reel seat. But the big thing with, the, with these rods, it's the microwave guide system. And what that is, it's basically a guide within a guide. And on this rod, they have it on the, the very first guide, the very bottom guide, and on the, the guide all the way up the tip. And what that is, let's see if I can get it here, is that right there. You got the guide, then a guide within the guide. So it turns the it, it turns the term micro guide into something completely different. All right, it's very unique. I almost wish more rods had it after using it. Um, I've I've definitely noticed a diff, uh, an increase in casting distance. I've noticed a um, increase or a decrease of backlashes. Um, I mean, you can truly see the difference of the line coming off the rod. It's incredible. And like I said, I, I wish more rod companies did this. Pros, like I said, the color for me, it was something different. I've got a lot of compliments on people out on the boat, on the water. Like, dude, what is that? It's a lightsaber? And I'm like, no, man, it's an enigma. Come on now. But um, pros, color, cool. You know, it looks good. The... Uh, the sensitivity of this rod is unreal. It's both of them. The, you know, the Aaron, the and the Aaron's Edge and this one, the sensitivity is great. I mean, like I said, this is a seven six heavy, and the tip is just insane. You know, I can feel everything. The quality of it, you know, the quality going down, all the guides. When I received it, it um, all the guides were perfect. I'm the, I only got a couple cons. All right, and these are just me. This 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 does not take from the quality and the craftsmanship of this rod. This is just my preferences all right number one is the uh the the, the hook keeper down here um i like them more up here the base of the blank um that's just me that's just what i like to do i've noticed putting it down here at the base they uh they, they seem to fall off more um but so that's one con. Um, this could be a defect of the rod I got, um, but the the insert for the, the the inside guide, I guess you could say, of the the, the microwave guide, uh, kind of, it fell out. It popped out, and I've had to put it in a couple times. But uh, it seems to be in there now, but that was pretty annoying, but it's fixed. Like I said, other than that, this rod is a great rod. Um, price. Price for the titanium, it's a $150 rod. I swear to God, this rod feels like it's a $200, $250 rod. It's, it's incredible. Um, you can't beat the price for this kind of rod. So, like I said, I bought that, that titanium, that Phenom, and I was like, God, these rods are good. I bought the Aaron's Edge. Loved it. Um, you know, I was, I was talking up so much. My friend actually just bought one, and it's, they're great all-around rods, quality. You know, I definitely will be purchasing more of their rods. Um, so check them out. Like I said, the Phenom, Chartreuse one, 150 bucks. The Aaron's Edge, 120 and uh, they're great rods. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, you give me a thumbs down, but please explain why you didn't like it. Uh, give me some tips, you know, what you think I should do differently. Um, Subscribe to my channel and until next time